I'm Jenny Grosslight, here to demonstrate burst trigger on the U4154A logic analyzer from Agilent Technologies. Burst triggering is a unique capability of select Agilent logic analyzers. Use the DDR setup assistant icon on your desktop to tune your U4154A system for state mode measurements before you start using burst triggering. To set up a burst trigger, open the trigger window from the U4154A icon. Opening the trigger window, we'll take a look at the actual trigger used to capture four sequential back-to-back -back bursts of eight read cycles on a DDR3 bus. First, we set up the trigger to look for a valid read. Then we waited for the cast latency to pass and after that we began looking for an exact data burst of eight samples to occur. If the first pattern wasn't found, we go back and look for the next valid read. The sequence continues looking for the second burst of eight and if it isn't that, we go back and look for the next valid read. Again for a third and finally for an exact pattern, the fourth exact pattern of eight samples in a burst of interest, and here will trigger when we find the pattern. Opening the state waveform window, our left-hand side, we have the first valid read request. Then there's the cast latency until the burst actually begins. That first read burst is immediately followed by a second, a third, and the fourth read burst. At the end of the fourth burst of data, the trigger has seen the last pattern, the all 32 exact data patterns sequentially. Another way to view the sequence is in the listing window. Decoder has matched the read command with the actual data that happens later in the trace. We can scroll through the data in the listing and see that it matches what we had in the trigger. We can also look at the trigger at the same time as the listing and see that the data pattern matches exactly. Scrolling through the listing, we can see all four data bursts. Burst trigger is particularly interesting for serial pattern recognition and also for analog to digital converter testing. Burst can be up to eight events long or as short as two. Remember, burst triggering is available for any set of signals you might be probing with the U4154A. You can also add additional labels in parallel to build the pattern of most interest for your sequential trigger. First trigger is available in timing or state modes. In timing mode, it is useful for events of minimum or maximum durations. This is the only logic analyzer in the world that can capture on back-to-back -back bursts of DDR data. Trigger on sequential events at rates up to and including 2.5 gigahertz.